This is the video of the third case study of a um, steel beam modeled as a horizontal plate. Uh, the beam is made of steel and has a rectangular cross section 50 by 100 millimeters. It is fixed at the left end and loaded by 10 kN force at the right end. The units are millimeters megapascals and newtons. Uh, the length of the beam is 1200 millimeters. The first node is 0, 0. Second is 1200, 0. Third one is 1250. And the fourth is 0 and 50. F3 would redraw this and then uh, the property of the plate. Material is steel. Uh, geometry, the thickness is the vertical direction dimension which is 100 millimeters and it's a plate shell type. Creating this element now, uh, code 8, and click at all four nodes, and then click all. So this creates a plate uh, which is um, here, plate and with eight nodes. So we can now restrain this plate on the right, left side, um, attribute node restrained, click fixed, so that all translations and rotation are fixed, and then select the three nodes on the left side and apply. Uh, load can be applied as loaded node, 10 kN, but it is more uniform to apply it as a plate edge load, <coughs> normal shear stress. Uh, the value is 2, two megapascal. Uh, that's calculated as 10 kN divided by the area of the cross section, which is 5000 mm squared. And it's acting at this edge. Uh, pressing F12 will show angles dialog box and the metric view will show that load is indeed as it should be. If it was the wrong way around, which depends really on the order in which the nodes are clicked on when the plate was being created. If it's the wrong way around then uh, it just changed the sign to minus two. Go back to attributes uh, plates um, edge load and use the value of minus two. Uh, now the only thing that remains is to subdivide this uh, plate into uh, four, four in the A direction and four in the B direction, so across and along, and the target must be code eight. So this creates now sixteen plates, and that's all that that needs to be done in terms of modeling. So um, now it can be solved, uh, uh, saved as CS3, and then hopefully there will be no errors, that's fine. And it shows here uh, the log file, results log file shows that the total load is um, 10 times 10 to the minus of 4, which is 10,000 newtons, uh, 10 kilo, kilo newtons, so the load applied is correct. Log file also shows the maximum deflection in the z-direction of about 6.9 millimeters. Now we can open the results file. Uh, first, what we can plot is uh, the deflection along um, the length of the cantilever. Uh, and uh, we can use the graph.
graph to dz dz direction displacement and the position is from the central node here to here nine intersection points and the graph looks like this which is fine and to see the actual data points so these are the distances of each node from the left edge so this is fixed end and this is free end and this is displacement obviously 0 at fixed end and 6.91 roughly at the free end uh, this, this data can be obviously copied and pasted into Excel and uh, the graph uh, can be uh, copy graphics and can be pasted now into um, Word. So that was the first graph. The second graph is for the bending stress. So I'll click on the new graph and uh, this one is uh, quantity is plate stress global xx plus z surface uh, along the same line so uh, the stress is maximum at the free end and uh, as maximum at the fixed end and zero at the free end so 143.8 megapascals all right and um, next is the moments graph 3 uh, should show nodal moments at mid span along PQ. Okay, the next is the reaction. Sorry. Next is uh, nodal uh, moment MXX at mid span. So uh, position. Newton millimeters per millimeter, hundred and twenty thousand. Um, now in here we can use uh, the area facility. And this area facility uh, it gives us the area of six times ten to the minus six. Uh, so it's six kilonewton meters. And next one is the graph of the nodal forces along AE, FZ, so nodal reactions. So the quantity for nodes reaction FZ and the position is along these nodes. So these are the nodal forces uh, in Newton's nodal reactions and uh, the sum of these nodal forces gives the total reaction which is 10,000. Right, so uh, all these graphs can be, uh, and data points can be taken into uh, Excel and further modified or compared. That's it.